Hello everyone and welcome to Bevan's Bricks and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to make a Lego fish tank. So if this is something that interests you, stick around because it's coming up. Without further ado, here it is. Now keep in mind, uh, I designed and built my particular fish tank that you can see here in a manner and fashion to where I can easily illuminate it. So you don't have to follow my specific instructions that I'm going to give you. Uh, I'm just going to show you a real quick rough guide though on how you can build basically this exact same fish tank. It's a very easy process and it's a very good looking tank to say the least. Uh, one of the things I do want to point out though, it's like I said, I built mine specifically the way I built it because I wanted to light it up. And here is what I mean by that. As you can see, there is a hole in the top of that, and then this goes on to lock the light that I will be putting in there into place. So when I'm finished, because this is getting placed into my Avengers Tower, onto the floor where I am putting all the offices anyway. And when I'm finished, this will be illuminated along with everything else in that same floor. But I just wanted to show you guys one of the ways, and I'll even show you how you can build this, even though I would say it's pretty simple. Um, but I will show you another way you can build it as well if you didn't want to worry about it being illuminated. Now to build it just like this one, you are going to start with one of these guys right here. But I, again, like I said, I do want to show you that you can also do it with a square base as well. The next most important piece though, is you need to know what size of these to use. This is a two by five half round piece. Now a lot of people when they look at my fish tank you would automatically assume it's this little guy here which is a two by four and it's not, it's a two by five. And here is what the big difference is. When you look at the back of a two by four, there's no spots to put a tile or a plate, I should say, where in this one you have a four square stud center. Now, keep in mind, there is a method you can use this and make a fish tank as well, but we're going to cover that in another video. Once you get this piece, though, we're going to do and build the center section first, and I'm going to build it just like mine, so we are going to use this. So, let's get the decorative center first. So, let's start with a two by two plate, and then we're going to take a sloped one by two by two, at least I believe that's what that's called. And then to give us a little bit of plant life, what I'm going to do is let's take a couple of these guys. These are just a little yellow flower and we're just going to quite simply stack them right on top of the other to give it kind of like a coral look. And then we're going to take this little plant stem and this round piece here we're going to put these together so it looks like a little plant that's in the background growing up. So now we're putting that there. And after we get those pieces on, the next step is to place the fish. And here's how we make the fish look like it's floating. We use this guy. This is a one by one modified clip or modified plate, whatever it is, but the part number will be up here. But anyway, you take that guy, we'll stick him on top of there like that. And then we take our fish and we simply pop that on the tail. And by doing that, it'll give us the illusion that the fish is floating in the tank. And then to finish off this brick wall or this little rock wall, you can either take a cheese wedge piece and just put it right on top of there if you want to stop the height there. What I like to do though is make the fish tank look full. So I put a little extra plate and then I put the wet cheese wedge piece on top of it. Now it's very easy. You just quite simply take your glass, you put one on the front and one on the rear. And then we take this guy right here, which is a round four by four. We put him on top of there just like that. And let's take the camera and tilt him up just a little bit. And then we take four of these guys. These are the important part for making the nice smooth top because you're going to put those all the way around. And the other thing I do want to make sure that you notice is that the round piece that I originally put on does have a hole in the center. And that is why I did it for the lighting because now I'm going to use this little guy, put him on top, 
and then we just take our tile and put it across. And like I said, that tile is strictly there to hide our wire. And now look at that. We have two different fish tanks. Uh, this one's going to be getting destroyed after the video, but <laughs> this one is going into my Avengers Tower. Just to show you what this fish tank would look like if you put it on a square base, because again, like I said, this is a very easy build to do, and you don't have to have the round base. I just want to show you that it will work the same. So there's our fish tank, and then we're going to put our glass around it just like that. And then again, we can put a square top on it as well. To finish it off, simply take two one by four tiles, Put them on there like so. Actually, you'd probably want a two by four on top of the front there. And then you can do that. And then that gives you a nice finished tank. And this is why I'm saying you'd probably want to use a two by four instead. But just showing you that it can be built in different ways and it still will look nice. And you could actually still even illuminate this. The only difference is, is you'd have to route your light through the bricks on the back. But still, it's another great way to build the fish tank, even if you don't have this guy right here. Anyway, that's all for this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little instruction for how to build a Lego fish tank. Anyway, as always, thank you for coming to Bevan's Bricks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share below, and hopefully we'll see you next time on Bevan's Bricks.